All right, friends and neighbors. You can see we got uh, Little Ranger all jacked up in the air there. And uh, I didn't uh, start this project from the beginning because I wasn't sure how long it was going to take and uh, I didn't want to make another Jurassic video. But what I did was I went into, uh, ran into town and got some uh, radius arm bushings. Now the ones on the passenger side, they're nothing like the ones that uh, on the driver's side here. The ones on the driver's side, they were completely gone. And I'll show that to you. If I can get my butt down here. There's one that was on the driver's side. She's pretty, pretty soft and rotten. Uh, let's see if I can get you fitted under here. Took the bolt. I know you can hardly see it. Right there, there's a bolt. Goes through a bushing up in there. That bushing, surprisingly, it is really nice. It's it's really the bushing isn't all. Uh, it I don't see a crack in it. So I'm glad I didn't spend the extra. 40 some dollars for that uh, bushing there but this one this one was definitely a horse of a different color now I put the I left the uh, old washer on there it's not busted or anything here's the new washer that came with the bushings the new washer the center hole there's no way it was going over the end of that shaft and as a matter of fact I couldn't get the bushing started over the shaft because I don't know if it's supposed to be like pressed on or what but the hole is a little bit smaller than the uh, shaft right there so I did I'm thinking to myself and talking to myself because uh, nobody else is out here for me to talk to and I thought what would Rock and Robbie do well I says to myself because I'm out here by myself Rock and Robbie would put tire soap on that shaft and on the inside of that bushing well that's what I did and I still couldn't get it on but I put the uh, I got a little come along right here going from the radius arm see it's hooked there back to a cross member and as soon as I started pulling that uh, this threaded in back through the hole there it popped that bushing popped her right on there so I didn't uh, I didn't unhook the shock I thought about it but I thought hell I'm not sure how good the shocks are so if I wreck it I'll just get a new one I didn't uh, have to unhook the spring like everybody told me the only one that told me I didn't have to was uh, Shane Holst he said no nah. he said you don't have to unhook the unhook the spring if I did it probably wouldn't have been that big of a deal there is a keeper right up in there that holds the top of the spring to the uh, 
Well, it's not a hanger, but it's like a hanger. So, uh, I didn't have to unhook that either. But I was having a hell of a time getting this axle pulled forward enough to get this radius arm, get that out of the hole. So I put a come along, this same little come along, hooked it to the front axle, and I don't, you see that chain hanging there? I got it hooked to the spring hanger on the front of Milo, the 07 tree, because I don't have tow hooks on it. And I pulled the axle forward, and I got to the point to where it wouldn't uh, go forward anymore, and I didn't know what the hell. I thought, well, if I pull any harder, I'm going to pull the shock in half or something. Well, that probably would have been the case. But I probably would have pulled my brake line in half first because uh, I was kind of pulling the pickup, the Ranger here. I was pulling it forward a little bit and uh, didn't realize that that brake line was stretch tighter than a banjo string so yeah I guess I should have uh, unhooked the brake line maybe not I might have got away with it we'll find out that uh, all the oil slobbered down here that's from my uh, my steering box my power steering the seal is out on the top out on the top of it where the steering column goes down into the gearbox. If you remember from the last video doing the, uh, uh, what was it? Well, not the last video, I don't think. The video before where I uh, put the uh, exhaust manifold gasket on this side. So, I'm going to maybe prop you up here. I'm not going to stretch this out. I was screwing around last week with when Matthew and I did our video in uh, working on his pickup, and uh, I, I should have cut a lot more time out of it, and I'm, I apologize for that. And uh, but anyway, I'm going to. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to do it. I'm going to try to find a way to get you guys hung up here, and I'll. Uh, Put it in fast forward and you can cuss hear me cuss like the chipmunks i guess if if i do that and so anyway i gotta try to find a way to get you mounted up here hold on okay i think i got you back in recording mode let me get you clamped up here, and then I gotta get behind the. Damn it! I don't know. Hopefully, I'm not gonna be blocking your view. I guess we'll find out. How I may not even be recording. I can't tell. <sighs>
There. Now, yeah, I got the uh, castle nut. It's on there backward, I know that. Uh, the starter threads in the castle nut are just pooched. So, uh, I think, uh, I mean, these, uh, these bushings are gonna probably outlast old ranger. So I may just take the wire welder and put a couple good tacks on there. But I'm gonna take the torque wrench and torque that down. It's supposed to be torqued down a hundred and some pounds. I'm not sure what it is, but uh, I'm gonna torque it down. I'm not gonna video all that. Torque it down. Put a tack welder two on there to uh, hold that castle nut, or I may run into uh, I may run up the bomb guards tomorrow morning and see if they got another castle nut that size. If they do, I'll just get a new one. Uh, I'm not planning on doing a whole lot tomorrow. Tomorrow Sunday, and. Uh, this week, this coming week is uh, pinning, uh, it's our anniversary, so I'm not going to do uh, a whole lot tomorrow. And uh, also, is Penny's birthday is uh, this coming week, too. So, but anyway, that wasn't too painful. It would have been a lot less pulling and tugging. If I would have uh, thought to take that brake line off, then I'd have to bleed the damn bleed the damn brakes too. The other side, it's not near as bad as this side, so it can go uh, till a later date, and we'll do it also. So anyway, I got 39 minutes on the clock. It'll be 40 here in just a minute. And uh, I am going to speed this up because I'm not going to make you guys suffer through all that again. Oh. So, with that.
grass is growing, turning green, needs to be mowed. And uh, I'm going to let you all go. So, happy trails. Do something kind for your neighbor or a friend. Your spouse. Or your folks. Happy trails, friends and neighbors.